Who watching can relate to a pressure cooker? particularly for moms, not in the kitchen, but in an attempt to keep the peace, you suppress until the anger builds up and builds up and builds up, and then pow, you explode on the ones that you love. Well, here to share how to reduce the rage, let's welcome back Dr. Greg Hammer, professor at Stanford University School of Medicine. Good to have you back. Nice to be with you, Layla. It happens, right? And we were talking just a moment ago, I have maybe or maybe not been on the receiving end of maybe a little bit of that pressure cookerness. Um, but really, what is it that moms particularly are suffering from these days? Well, first I would just say what is, uh, we, we can define rage. Rage is really an acute stress response that it becomes sort of self-propagating and exaggerated. And we know that acute stress is associated with an increase in the adrenaline in our bodies that causes our heart rate and blood pressure to go up. It's associated with an increase in a hormone called cortisol in our bodies that makes our blood sugar go up. And acute stress is associated with other uh, adaptive and maladaptive changes, adaptive in the sense that uh, we hear a splash in the water at a pool party where there are toddlers and we immediately get uh, the stress response so that entitles us or, or helps us uh, to respond and jump in the pool and uh, rescue that toddler. But that same stress response can be maladaptive. For example, during our conversations, interpersonal relationships, uh, on top of chronic stress, we can become acutely stressed and sort of lose control. That adrenaline surge in our body causing our heart rate and blood pressure to go up also sometimes makes us unaware of uh, the tone of our voice and uh, how we're coming off to the other person. That's interesting. So what do we do to kind of stop ourselves in our tracks, take a breath, come back to our center? How do we do this? Well, burnout, as you mentioned, is, is a chronic stress, and that has the adverse changes, some of which you mentioned. Uh, it degrades the quality of our sleep, we're fatigued, we tend not to eat well because we reach for sugary and fatty comfort foods. Uh, and that chronic stress is self-propagating, pushes us closer to uh, falling off the cliff with acute stress and, and therefore rage. So the cure for this is really that for chronic stress, and that is refocusing our attention on the present moment and also overcoming our negativity bias. So reminding ourselves that we all have this quality of remembering the negative things and forgetting the positive mm. things. We start to feel this increase in heart rate and this, this effects of the adrenaline in our bodies that come with acute, often superimposed on chronic stress. We can remind ourselves that we're not necessarily being rational, that this negativity bias is creeping in and uh, this distraction with the past and the future is becoming exaggerated. And remember to go back to awareness of our breath, maybe take a deep breath as many people do when, yes. or are advised to do when they're becoming enraged. There's a chemical a, change when you do that. Yes, I mean, the, the, we can associate the focus on our breath with being present. And the more we become aware of the present moment, the more we're able to let go of resistance to those things that are causing us stress and just let it go, become more aware of the present moment, remember this negativity bias so that we can refocus on what's positive in our lives. And, you know, perhaps this relationship with the other person that mm. triggered an adverse acute stress or rage response, Focus on the breath, bring it to the present moment, and remember that this is a human being. We're, right. we're in our, you know, whether it's our children or our spouse or whatever. Absolutely, and you say to use the GAIN method, which can be done in just three minutes. That's gratitude, acceptance, intention, and non-judgment. I think the worst thing that we can do is to not address these feelings. I wanna thank you so much, Dr. Hammer, for joining us. Always a pleasure, Layla, anytime. We're back in two minutes.